I used to love YouTube, but something ruined it for me. And it's finally time I told you. So if you've clicked subscribe and clicked like, just sit back and enjoy the story of how I became a YouTuber. So it was a few months ago, I was in a bad mood, upset that a video we worked so hard on got way less views than some of our other videos. I just felt like I wasn't good enough. And I came across the video, How I Became an Animator by Andre Turbia. Turbia, Turbia? Uh, it's Andre T. Just because it had a lot of views and I was in a bad mood, I was just ready to just for no reason hate this video. So I clicked play. I grew up in post-communist Romania. That's interesting. My family's from Romania. Sharing a small room with my brother who was one year older than me. Huh. For a while I shared a room with my sister. Buy my first Wacom tablet. It's creepy. Andre, how similar our stories are. It's unreal. If you also have a notoriously cheap father, this is gonna be nuts. To this day, I still have my first $5 bill framed on my desk. Andre, I think we were swapped at birth. By the end, I loved Andre's video. It just made me, oh. It reminded me how hard we all worked to get to where we're at. And so I made it my mission to figure out what it was that was bumming me out most about YouTube. So thanks, Andre. Also, since we have so much in common, we should just start doing everything together. <laughs> Wait, what, what, what is this? It's a time machine. I'm sending you back in time so we can figure out where it all went wrong. Andre, you're a genius. Come with me. I can't. The time machine is only big enough for one person. I'm gonna miss you. We've spent the last 10 seconds getting to know each other so well. It's okay, bud. I'll be here when you get back. This time machine is going all the way back to day zero, when Alex Clark was a nobody. Now, obviously you can't actually travel through time, but I, I did go back and I watched my old videos. Back when I would be lucky if I had like 50 views. YouTube was very different back then. There was no brands. It was just like a bunch of kids having fun online. Like, uh, like Sprigger24, Digital Soul, people you'd never heard of, like uh, the Beardy Boy vlogs. What I loved about all those channels is how much fun they had. You could just see it. And it made me realize at some point, I stopped having fun. If you're thinking about becoming a YouTuber, don't do it for the money. Do it because it's fun. And so gave birth to my idea. Five important things to keep you a happy YouTuber. This is the apartment I lived in when I uploaded the first video to my main channel. I had other channels before that, but with this one I said, if it doesn't work out, I'm never doing this again. This is the... Um, I'm doing a video about this little thing. It's a gadget. I was petrified to talk to the world. And if you guys like it, you can click subscribe. I really do wish I could go back and give young me that advice. All right, before you continue, this is the most important YouTube advice known to man. Read this. Who the hell are you? I'm you, from the future. And I shouldn't be telling you this, but if you don't handle this correctly, you are gonna hate your life. Okay, I don't know who you are, old man. Get out of my house. Now, if you could travel back in time and say one thing to your younger self, what do you think the younger you would say back? I, I'm interested to know. I'm pretty sure I would either kick myself out, or if I actually believed future me, I'd probably say something like, hey! Can I borrow $4,000? Part of the reason I started to hate YouTube was how I was too focused on views and numbers and analytics, wanting people to like me. So my first piece of advice would be just enjoy the ride. Andre's video reminded me of that. Like when I made that first babysitter episode, it was because it was a fun video to make. Hey, old man, what did you say? I said the babysitter story was a fun video to make. 
How do you know about the babysitter? No one really knows about that. Because I'm you, from the future. And that was a great animation. <laughs> I haven't drawn in years. You're telling me I end up with an animation channel? You do! You're gonna be so proud of yourself. I don't know if I buy this, but I'm willing to hear more. Believe it or not, being an artist was never my goal. At least not since what happened. You see, when I was a kid, I was super into art. Just like Andre, I saved up all my money to buy my first Wacom, and I could not be happy to tell you that they are now sponsoring this video. They recently came out with the new Cintiq 16, which is a new form factor at a new price. So if you're in the market for a new tablet, I'll have more info on that at the end. But when I was a kid, more than anything in the world, I wanted to be a Disney animator. So I signed up for some art classes one summer, and something happened that kind of ruined it all for me. Turned me off to art completely. Blah, blah, blah. You know, you came on a time machine. Why don't we just show them what happened? That is a great idea. Wait, we can't. This thing only seats one person. No, it doesn't, dummy, look at this. <laughs> but Andre told me there was only one seat. Is that who left you this note? I sent you back to get rid of you. With you gone, I'm one step closer to dominating YouTube animation. I shall reign supreme. He must have only powered it up just enough to send me back. Well, what recharges it? I don't know. Now you know, time machines are not real. And uh, in real life, Andre's actually a real nice guy. But if there's one thing I want you to take from this video, is to remember how important the little things are. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is it? I just got my first subscriber! It's Joy. Joy powers the time machine. <laughs> that was so stupid. Just enjoy the little things. I thought you'd be interested to see a series about how I became a YouTuber. Take you on that journey of the scrappy guy with zero subscribers and how we got to four million. Maybe you'll see that you can do it too. Before I tell you about that, I of course gotta tell you about Wacom. If you're an artist, Wacom makes tons of tablets from the affordable all the way up to the super high-end fancy. And whether you want one with a screen or without, they got a little bit of everything. So if you're an artist and uh, are looking for a new tablet, I would highly recommend checking out the Cintiq 16, as well as a ton of other Wacom tablets at the link in the description. But back to the story. If you're wondering what that devastating thing was that happened at that art class, or some of the insider secrets I used to get to where I am. I told you one thing on that list, but what about the other four? If you want to see that, make sure you're subscribed. I can't believe he thinks he fixed the time machine. <laughs> Everything's going according to plan. All right, let's go back to that art class. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I loved Andre's video. You're just gonna have to watch it for yourself. And, uh, well, it, my YouTube was ruined me for a while. Things are looking up right now. The tour's been going great. I am so happy. I just thought this would be a cool story to share with you. So, I'm Alex Clark, and I will see you on Bye!